Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play 7th Guest with our pal, Magic Lorelei. Hello everyone! Okay, let's solve this thing for real, shall we? No cheating this time. Don't need a strike against us this early. But yeah, you use that book over and over and it'll finally just do it for you. You need lenses to focus your thoughts on this one. Okay. Now this doesn't make sense. Or does it? It's one letter! <laughs> of course it doesn't make sense! So, if you recall, the answer is to spell out there is no possible way. A perplexing planetary poser. How puzzling. Perhaps a phonemic path can be phrased with a little postulation. Quit the alliteration. That's our job. When we're actually clever enough to pull it off. Yes. But he has scriptwriters helping him. Yeah. It doesn't help him much, apparently. Having fun yet? Mortal? What twisted crime of logic would merit such a sentence? No, the crime of logic was the can sentence, but, you know. Yeah. Interesting thing, though, that that voice called him mortal. Mm-hmm. Old man Stauff built a house and filled it with his toys. Six guests were invited one night. Their screams, the only noise. Blood inside the library, blood right up the hall, dripping down the attic stairs. Hey, guests, try not to fall. Nobody came out that night. Not one was ever seen. But old man Stout is waiting there. <laughs> Crazy, sick, and me. <laughs> I'm acting. I'm acting. And I believe we can rewatch that. Old man. Yeah, we can. Built a house and filled it with his toys. Six guests were invited one night. Uh, not that it's a bad poem, but again, this is the regretting that there isn't a skip option. Yes. Right. There will be a lot of regretting that as this Let's Play goes on. Probably. Because I don't remember what every button does, basically. So I want to make sure you guys see do see everything. Yeah. And I will be inadvertently triggering a lot of cutscenes multiple times. I'll yell at him for you guys. Is Although I'm sure you guys will be yelling in the comments. <laughs> Sick and me. I just love the way he delivers yes. that last line. Crazy. And we can Sick watch it again. And me. And we can watch it again, but no, we won't. No. You sure? Yes. Okay. Just checking. Just you might have wanted to see that again. You might have wanted to hear him ham up the and mean again. I don't know to be listening to him ham up everything else in this game. <laughs> okay, and we are officially done on the first floor at the moment. So naturally and completely intuitively, we have to approach the door to go up the stairs. Yep. Think like you're going to leave the place, and then, oh, no, no, I'm going upstairs. Yep. That makes sense. Ego has a wonderful sense of direction. Yes, he does. Like I said, this is why I like the Tex Murphy games, because they made these just fully. You use the keyboard to walk around, and not this clicking on spot spots. Oh. We have a painting that we can interact with. 
Okay, that may not look like much by modern standards, but that's actually pretty creepy. It reminded me of the old Nightmare on Elm Street, the original movie. Yeah. And everybody that's seen that movie knows exactly what I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay, so we have some doors off to our right. Whoa. Dude? The boy from earlier being chased by the guy in the very, very outlandish get-up. And we can go back down the stairs if we really want to. Even though it got really, really dark there. Or we can go to the left. Okay. And be beckoned forward by a ghost. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh my. <laughs> you know, I want to go into that room first. Gee, I wonder why. I can't imagine what would have lured you into that room to go in first. <laughs> oh god, it's melting. We have a puzzle, but unfortunately that's all we have to interact with in this room. For now. So what, you you're not going to sit down and do that puzzle? Well, we can turn around and look at the door again to leave, but that's pretty much the only thing they put in this room. For now. And if you recall how I said there were variants on the chase, the... on the form, the sentences? Puzzles from, uh... Like in the telescope and the cans? Here's another one. Skipping threes and skipping fives. Perhaps that's how one derives the answer to this wordy tale. But you won't win. You're bound to fail. And that's your big clue as to how to solve this puzzle. Skipping by threes and fives. Yep. <clears throat> so we have to make our way through this path and spell out a sentence. Only you notice we have these funny little stars and all that. Well, those funny little... See, these flower petals are blanks. We can't use them. We must use the stars, and it will explain why. So we start from this arrow, and we can only go to the third or the fifth square. It will not let us interact with the others. So, well, let's what see what happens. What makes sense to start a sentence? Uh, well, what I would makes think sense I. to start a pin? That's a T. Oh, T. Yeah. Sorry, graphics are not so great translating I know. this. And this is actually kind of small for me, so some of the uh, letters look a little distorted. But I'm pretty sure I remember the sentence. So we will start with T. There are stars in space, but no spaces are allowed here. And that lets you know you're not allowed to use those little blank spaces. But what you have to do is use these stars to mark the spaces between words. Mm-hmm. So let's see, our... So the third space is a space, so and actually... And we can't actually touch it. We can't go back to the start either. So our only choice is the H. What did Stoff mean by threes and fives? I think we already established that, Ego. Yeah. Keep up with us, please. Okay. So we can go forward to you. Or to a space. Which stars or spaces here. But I don't think... T-H does not a word itself make. Yeah, T-H-U. Even though there is a D here, so you could make thud. Huh. <laughs> but here's what happens if you pick wrong. I don't think so. He interrupts again. Skipping fives. Perhaps that's how one derives the answer to this wordy tale. But you won't win. You're bound to fail. Okay, so let's not do that again because we will get interrupted over and over and over. Yeah. There are stars in space, 
but no spaces are allowed here. So All see, this stars. puzzle is actually pretty easy to solve because it basically stops you from making a mistake. You make a mistake and it kicks you out. So all you have to do is write down the letters what that don't kick you out. Fives? So obviously we want to go back here to the. I can't just step anywhere. Ah, uh, no, yeah, I forgot you could actually move backwards. Yes, you can move backwards and you have to. Now the is a word in and of itself, so we use the star for a space and the only place we can go to is the S now S is not a word to a, in and of itself so that's not going to help us so we have to go backward to there and spell out uh. sky huh so the sky so now we need to pick a See, what are our choices? We can end the word or D. <laughs> I don't think the we want to. End. No. Skid. Gotta Kay. get out of skid row. Okay, sorry. And <clears> our <throat> next word either begins with I or D. It begins with I. And is. So we want to go back five to start here. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this sentence. The sky is The ruddy. sky is ruddy. So let's see. And this is where it actually starts making you think a bit. But. Mm. Y. O. U. R. And then just because I remember this and I don't want to stumble through this for too much longer. Two, three, four. T. The sky is ready, your fate. Fate? There'll be I and S, wouldn't it? Yeah, I just gotta find the I. I gotta find the star I gotta pick next. Fate. Is. Yes. For those of you who barely saw that, that was an L and not an I. Ah. It's very difficult to see that little tail when it's there, but, you know. O. O. D. Y. Ah, don't think you'll be so lucky next time. We'll get you next time, Gadget. We'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. No, the others will try to beat us. But it doesn't have to be that way. Not if you and I work together. We can solve Stomp's puzzle. We can win. You can get what you want, Edward. What is it that you want? Edward, <laughs> shall I try to guess? I know where the puzzles are to be solved. I know where the puzzles are. I'll take you there. But first... <laughs> Smells. It, it's, it's changing. I, I can't breathe. I feel so sick. I will give you everything. I will give you what you want. Okay. So apparently he wants to be a goat. Apparently. Notice we can interact with the bed again.
Of course you wanted to interact with the bed again. <laughs> because that was totally necessary. Completely needed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little bit like ego there. <laughs> Can't breathe. <laughs> Can't breathe. Feel sick. <laughs> okay, the bad now that we are... is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. So we should probably like save and then try to follow that ghost lady. Yeah, I think this marks a pretty decent stopping point for the video. Mmm, that's true too. So, when we return, we continue to explore the upper floor of this place. Take care, folks. See you next time. Hope to see you then!